And thanks for staying with us. Details of a draft copy of the report of a committee investigating the alleged plot to remove the IGP, Dr. George Akufo-Dampari, reveals that three senior police officers have been re re recommended for prosecution. This is contained in a leaked draft report by the committee. Let's take a look at some of the details uh, of this uh, uh, you know, uh, draft as uh, it's been suggested to be. The terms of reference are talking about, you know, the need to ascertain the veracity of the offence of the leaked tape. And then we know that uh, possibly this will, was going to look into matters of conspiracy to remove the current IGP and also the uh, recommended sanctions to persons found culpable were appropriate. Uh, there's also the issue about the recommendations for uh, reforms where necessary. So these were the areas uh, that the report was looking into. Um, beyond that as well, uh, the committee now established, uh, you know, some issues based on the evidence it has gathered. First, that the two audio tapes were authenticated by four key witnesses who testified before the parliamentary committee. Chief Bugrin Abu, who's at the center of this, COP George Alex Mensah, Superintendent George uh, Asari, and Superintendent Eric Imano JB all conspired. Um, and of course, it was part of the plot to remove the IGP as this um, draft, we understand it's a draft, um, is suggesting. These are some of the findings that we're getting through uh, on this very document. The committee also established that uh, the COP George Alex Mensa lied under oath uh, before the committee uh, by stating categorically that he was not a card-bearing member of the New Patriotic Party. The committee further established that Superintendent George Asari and Superintendent Emmanuel J.B. lied also as well before uh, the committee. So uh, these are some of the um, items that uh, we're finding out that three senior police officers, namely COP Alex Mensa, George, Superintendent George Asari, and also Superintendent Eric uh, J.B. involved in the conspiracy actually to remove the IGP should be referred uh, for further investigations and possible prosecution for perjury. There is also the need, as this document uh, is recommending, the need to review and amend uh, Article 2021 of the Constitution uh, and the Police Service Act, as it's been recommended. Uh, this is a draft, and of course, uh, when we uh, have uh, the full uh, publication from Parliament, we'll definitely uh, get into the details of this. And our vice chairperson of uh, Parliament's ad hoc committee, James Agalda, says the draft is forged. He spoke to Joy News earlier. I have seen the report, which is making the rounds. What I can tell you is that the committee hasn't concluded with its work yet. But I, 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 I take note of the fact that certain things said in there may not be substantially different from, from what we saw. But like I said before, we made certain orders that further corrections be done and then the report will be resubmitted to us for us to take a second look. So you, are, you are saying that what is in the media now may not be substantially different from what you have... I have seen certain findings, certain things contained in that report and I'm saying that some of those things may not be substantially different. For example... What I saw in the original draft. No, I can't give you those examples. Yeah, so we are, we are reading that you are strongly recommending for the prosecution of the officers involved. Was that captured in what you um, wrote in your draft? You know, I, 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 I am not going to make those disclosures. It would be unfair to make such disclosures. Uh -huh. I've made it very clear that what we see out there, you know, is... is Something that is making the rounds and, uh, you know, it's being put out there as a report of the committee. But we are in the state where we only consider the draft. And the draft was supposed to be corrected and brought back. But has the committee recommended the prosecution of anyone involved in this particular case? I shouldn't be preempting, uh, you know, the outcome. Because remember that when we reconvene, we're going to take a second look. And when majority of the members agree, Certain things you see, you know, which are purported to, uh, you know, be born out of our report, could, 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 could be approved or rejected. And therefore, I think we should be patient and allow the committee to do its work. And now the chief of Senasi and uh, Contini of Brekum is inviting the owner of the good farm under pressure to relocate his livestock due to an age-old uh, custom uh, to 
a meeting that will provide a possible solution to the problem. Join News Investigations point to the ultimatum which elapsed uh, last year ordering residents to remove all goods uh, from the town. CEO of uh, the uh, learning, uh, the development farm, that's uh, Frederick Bene, says uh, he has been given two weeks uh, to relocate because the gods of Brekum forbid the rearing of goods in the town. But the chief uh, of the town says he is not aware of such orders from the traditional council. Brekum, an old town in the Buno region, set up as a security post by the Ashantis. You could keep cattle, sheep, any type of bird or animal, but it's a taboo to rear goats. No matter how strange it sounds, traditional authorities and some indigents like Ante Bedu, who came to the town in the 60s, believe the river deity, Asyokra, cast this misfortune on whoever rears goats in the town. <laughs> Do you think you will fare well if you rear goats in the town where our forefathers came to settle and got the name Brekum? No, no Brekum indigent will prosper if he rears goats. They will be hit by calamities and misfortune. Others have been told fatal accidents occur in the town due to the presence of goats. There used to be frequent road accidents and Ananum consulted oracles and came to the conclusion that the presence of the goats was responsible. As for us, we don't know anything about the spiritual realm, so whatever they tell us, we follow. We are told a recent enforcement of the custom led to many removing their goats. Some are not happy with the directive. Seriously. I am not happy with the directive to remove the goats from the town. I used to rear goats, and I have gone bankrupt after we were forced to remove the goats. That is a very, you know, stressful moment for us at the moment. One of the affected is Chief Executive Officer of Semencia Learning and Development Farm, Frederick Bene. He tells John News he's been given an ultimatum to move his over 250 breeds of goats from the town. In fact, when we heard this, it was a very stressful um, story to us, you know, because we had never dreamt that such a tradition that has been abandoned for years will be revoked again this time as we are going forward. Unfortunately, after a series of back and forth discussion, they still insisted that we move from here and have been given a strong warning of two weeks to vacate, otherwise they will send people here to kill all our animals. This one staring at me right now is the Bois goat. It's a fascinating breed of goats. He's part of about 250 goats, different breeds, different types, brought in by Semencia Farms. But will I say, great investment, wrong destination, because the town, Brekum, hates goats. This is Snasi, which of course is part of 38 communities in the Brekum traditional council that hates goats because Asiokra, the river deity, which is some few meters away from here, doesn't like goats. It's a taboo to rear goats. You can bring in a goat, slaughter it and eat it. You can bring the meat into town, but you cannot create this in Brekum. And that is the subject of controversy at the moment. But the chief of Snase 
and Kontihine of Brekum or Sahine Asomaj Mansebi wants Semensha Farms to meet Nananum for an amicable resolution. I don't know whoever gave him that order because we haven't met on it at the traditional council level and that place happens to be the highest decision body for the traditional council. We haven't met we are, and we haven't taken any decision over his removal from uh, our school land. So I would just advise him, he should come down and let's talk and see how best. Uh, because if the land will reject you, uh, you wouldn't have been there by now. Like by now we have removed you all the time. If, so what I'm saying is that there's still room for improvement. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko, Brekum, Buno region. Well, that's all we have for you in this package of the polls. I'm Blessed Sugan. Well, thanks for your company. For more news, log on to myjoyonline.com. We have lots of stories there for you. Bye -bye.